Hi, everybody. I'm John Hammerly with Room Now, and I'm joined by Dr. Neil Birnbaum. He, besides all of his other accolades, my understanding, he's a damn good Sunday golfer and past president of the ACR. So as maybe as as the uh, from the standpoint of being the past president and not from the first tee, what do you anticipate bringing to uh, ACR 2020? Is it uh, it's going to be different than any other? Well, it's going to be very different. I, I think we're already getting some experience doing Zoom things because we've been seeing, seeing patients this way for now six months, but to go to a meeting uh, is a whole different story. So I think it's going to be interesting. Um, I think it'll be, and it's a tendency to perhaps be more focused when you're, it's just you and you're looking at somebody's face on, on the screen. Uh, but I think what we'll miss is, is the camaraderie. Uh, if been somebody like me, who's been active in the college for a long time, practice for a long time, a large part of why we go to, to the meeting is to, is to see old friends and renew acquaintances. <laughs> You stole my question in terms of what, besides the obvious being personal contact, what are some other, the other disadvantages of this virtual format? Well, I don't know. I, I think it's going to be interesting to, to see. Uh, there are some advantages, which is, of course, you don't have to fly uh, across the country and pay money for a hotel and, and all of that. So uh, often less time away from the office, which in a year like this where people's incomes have suffered from the pandemic is, is a good thing. Uh, but there's a trade-off, certainly, and uh, not being able to, to have the in-person interaction. How that'll affect the interactions with speakers and programs and things is, is hard to know. But I think it's clearly the social aspects will suffer. You've taken a peek, obviously, at what uh, is to come in the next few days. What uh, is exciting to you personally? Well, I think that the um, opening session uh, today was very good, that uh, the year in, in review was well done, the, um, the president's address, the uh, talk by the uh, editor of the New England Journal of Medicine were all very, very well done. I always look forward to the year in review, uh, which was done today, and then tomorrow is the great, great debate, which is fun. Uh, I think some of the updates on real clinical controversies that still exist in, in the field, uh, hearing about the new guidelines that, that are coming out are all things that, that are good for somebody like me, who's basically a clinician, a practitioner, a teacher. I'm not a lab person. So that, that the real basic science things are not as important to me. Well, from a clinician standpoint, what guidelines do you think will be most important in terms of this year's conference? Well, there, from what I have read, there's an, out, uh, there's an update on the uh, rheumatoid arthritis guidelines and also gout guidelines. Whether or not they'll be dramatically different than what we're currently doing remains to be seen. Are you hearing any buzz about anything else from uh, young or old uh, attendees alike? Or uh, how are poster sessions going to be? I have no idea. I'm kind of intrigued. I'm going to get up real early in the morning because out here in San Francisco, the poster session starts at 6 a.m. And I'm going to see what it's like and whether it's worthwhile. I've often felt that the poster sessions at the annual meeting frequently weren't that worthwhile because you go through this huge room with thousands of posters. And can you really remember anything about them uh, unless it happens to be about a patient you've seen recently? And then fairly often you run into somebody you haven't seen it in a long time in, in the hall and you end up talking to them. So I've, I've uh, become less enamored of the poster sessions, the live poster sessions the last few years. So I'm quite intrigued to see how the online ones are, are gonna go. I talked to a junior, junior faculty member earlier today and he said he was looking forward to the poster sessions where he'd go and, and literally you know, zoom in, pardon the expression, with the author of the specific poster and ask him or her specific questions about what's going on. Well, be interesting to see how, how that works. And uh, will it be like oftentimes at a live poster session that you go, and if it's a really interesting poster, there's a whole crowd around the presenter and you may not get to spend a whole lot of time with them or get your question answered. I guess my last question is, 
Does this mean that ACRs will never be the same? Do you think that we'll return to the ACRs of old? Well, I would suggest there will probably be hybrid meetings uh, that once the genie's out of the bottle, it's going to be hard to put it back in. We're experiencing that now with direct patient care. We've, if someone would have asked me a year ago, would I be doing Zoom visits and phone visits? I would have said, huh? You know, no one's going to pay me for it. They're not going to work very, very well. And now all of a sudden, it's okay. It's a good thing. The patients love it, by and large. And I would say 95% of the time, we can accomplish what we need to in a Zoom visit as opposed to an office visit. So I think yeah. the college is going to have to really work hard. And, and I know how hard the staff works and the meeting planners work to come up with exciting sessions. And then it's going to also get into the economics of what it means to try to put on a hybrid meeting. And, and I don't know how that's going to work out, but, but I strongly suspect that they're going to have to come up with something like that. Well, I look forward to what uh, this year's meeting will portend for future meetings. And I look forward to seeing that handicap of yours drop significantly. Uh, it has a long way to go. <laughs> Sunday golf. I'm a, I'm a lot better rheumatologist than I am a golfer. That's for <laughs> sure. Thank, thank you for being optimistic for me. And I, I hope that we will um, be greeting people next year. The meeting is in San Francisco. It's a, uh, the convention center is about a mile from my office. So I really hope that we'll have a live session. Great. Well, Dr. Birnbaum, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like any more information uh, about where, where Dr. Birnbaum is going to be going poster session wise or anything else, just tune in the room now. All right. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye now. Take care.